Hello YouTube, welcome back for another video. I hope you are keeping well during this tough time. Today we are coding a password manager console application in C Sharp. Let me give you a preview of what we are coding today. Let's launch the app. It will ask us to create a master password. Once created, we can now generate password for services. Let us create one for YouTube. Enter S to save and enter service name. We have a password generated for YouTube. Simple as that. Let's create another one, this time for Gmail. And we have a password for Gmail. Let's try and retrieving a password. Enter G to get and provide the service name. It will fetch the password. So, this is the overview of the app. If you want to start using it right away, the link for GitHub is in the description below. Otherwise, stick around and we will start coding this app. Let's launch Visual Studio and create a new project. This will be a console application. Give this project a name. I will call it Password Manager. First, add a folder to house the database. I'll name the folder as database. We will add database file so we don't have to install anything. Add new item from data and select database. Give this database a name and click on add. Let's get our database ready. Head to server explorer and add a connection. Select database file and browse to the project location and select the database file we have created. Test the connection to make sure you are connected. Database is ready and now it's time to create some tables. We need two tables. First is master pass that will hold our master password. This only has two columns. One is the ID which is the auto generated and the pass which will hold the password. Click update and update the database. We can check if table is persisted to the database by refreshing the table folder. Let's create the second table, password manager. We will store password and service name in this table. Update and persist the changes to the database. Now our database is ready. While we are in here, let's grab database connection string. Let's save it into a variable called C string. Prefix this variable with add symbol so it interprets it literally since we are working with UNC path. Now we can start coding the master password manager app. We can start with methods to store and retrieve master password. So let's create a method called generate master password and it will return a boolean type. I will fast forward and then explain the code. We declare a boolean variable called bool. Using SQL connection, we are going to execute a SQL query. SQL connection resides in SQL data clients, so we will import it. We will execute our code in a try catch block so we can handle exceptions. We are executing a SQL query in SQL command to insert values in master pass table. Values are passed via add pass variable, so we are adding a parameter to SQL command. Then we open connection and execute the query. Using statement already closes the connection, but I'll leave the close connection clause in there. Display a success message on above SQL command execution. Finally, we return the bool variable. Once master password is generated, we need a method to get master password. So let's create a method called get master password. This returns a data table. Here we need to import system.data that includes this class. In this method, we are using SQL command to select from master pass. We should do a top one here, but select star will work for now. And we call the SQL adapter and store the result of the select statement into a data table. And finally, we return this data table at the end. 
Let's test these two methods before moving forward. So we will move up to main method. Let's declare a variable and call the method get master password. Check if data table returns any rows with an if statement. If rows are zero, then display a welcome message with password requirements. Ask user to enter password with console.readLine. Check user entered password and its length. If all good, then save the password to the database with generate master password method. And display a success message, otherwise display password requirement message. Let's test our progress so far. Let's build the app, provide it a password, and hit enter. This comes back with success message and a password is generated. There are duplicate success messages, so we can remove the second one. Also, anyone can see the user input while generating master password. So let's mask that. I am going to use a method from another project, so I'll copy paste the code here. So we have a method called read password. It has a while loop and it reads user input and masks the keystroke with asterisk. On enter key, it returns the user entry in a string format. It also accounts for backspace and escape keys. Let's incorporate this method in our main method. Replace console.readLine with this method. But before that, let me truncate the master pass table. Build the app and try it again. User input is masked and we have a success message. So far, so good. We are halfway there. Next, we create set of methods to save and retrieve service name. For example, we enter a service name like YouTube and an auto hash is generated as a password and saved into the database. We will generate a second method to retrieve it. Let's begin with insert service method. This will take a parameter of service name. We can utilize the code from the generate master password method. Modify the insert statement to insert two columns, service name, which is the app column and the password. Also add an additional parameter and change success and warning messages. Code is ready for service name, but we will need a method to generate hash that will be used as a password for the service name. I am going to use Microsoft hash algorithm. Link for the hash method is in the description below. I am only using the two methods. One is to generate hash and one is to verify hash. We need to import cryptography namespace in order for these to work. Let's use generate hash in insert service method. Using SHA-256, we are creating a hash with service name. We are saving it to a hash variable. Let's substring first 10 digits since most services has limit on password length. We save the hash into the 10 digits variable and we are passing this hash as password along with the service name. Let's generate the second method called get service name to retrieve password from database. We can reuse code from get master password. Let's modify the select statement a bit. We are selecting from PW manager table and add a where clause to pass the service name. We need to encapsulate the service name in single quote update the error message also check if database has rows if it does then display the service name and password to the user display warning message if no row exists also update the error message in the cache block let's create the final method that will interact with both of these methods i am going to call it generate service first ask for user input what would you like to do? Print out the available commands to the user. For example, save, get, and quit. Put this entire code in a while loop so it execute continuously. If user makes a selection of S and then gives it a service name, uh, it should loop back and uh, give you the, those three options again. After reading user input, we are using a switch statement or on each case, we are inserting a new service. On G, we are getting the service password based on the provided service. 
On S, we are saving the service along with password to database. On Q, we break out of the while loop and exit the program. In the main method, if master password does not exist, we ask user to create it. Once master password is created, we are giving user the access to generate service method. In the else clause, we have a for loop. This gives user three tries to log in. We keep track of login tries and in the for loop, we are asking user for master password. We get the hash from database from pass column. Then we pass the user input and hash to verify hash method to compare. If both of these match, then we give access to generate service method. Otherwise, we ask user to try again. After three tries, the program exits. Let's build the app and give it a try. First try, enter a random text that does not match the master password. On the second try, also enter an invalid password. This suggests that the verify method is working. Now let's enter the correct password. This time we get access to generate service method. Let's retrieve the password for YouTube. Let's try and get the password for Gmail. Get service method is working as expected. Let's try and save a service. Call it Chase. It saves Chase and generates a password for it. Finally, quit the program. So this is the password manager console application in C Sharp. Thank you for sticking around till the end and I hope this will come in handy with your personal password management. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content.